Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohit Lamba. I'm a consultant orthopedic surgeon and a joint replacement surgeon working at Sunner International Hospitals, Golf Course Road, Gurgaon. So today, uh, there's a very important topic I want to talk about, which is osteoporosis. Now, osteoporosis has often been referred as a silent pandemic. Silent in the sense that you don't get to know when you get that disease. And then when you get to know about the uh, results of the disease, the problems that come around along with it, it's already too late. So, uh, and it's so prevalent in uh, the elderly population in India and in even abroad uh, that it has uh, been a very important factor in the management of orthopedic injuries nowadays. So, first of all, let's understand what osteoporosis is. Osteoporosis is the disease in which you lose the quality of bone, the quality of bone in your, in your, in your skeletal system. So it could be anywhere in your skeletal system from the top to bottom. Uh, but what it leads to is frequent fragility fractures, which can happen with uh, even a trivial injury, a trivial fall. What you end up with can be a fracture of the spine, a fracture of the wrist or a fracture of the hip. Either of them can be very debilitating and the treatment can be a long drawn out one, causing much agony to the patient and the relatives as well. So, uh, what are the causes of osteoporosis? The most important one being age. So, anyone who is above 45 years of age and uh, someone who has uh, low energy, uh, weakness in, generalized weakness in uh, the bones, in the, in the muscles, in the body and uh, for someone who has had a fracture even with a small trivial injury should be suspected of find out if the patient has osteoporosis. There is a very simple test called uh, DEXA scan. The DEXA scan can be done, it's a, it's a simple machine like, uh, in a, like an x-ray scanner. Uh, it gives you a report within uh, 30 minutes and uh, it gives you a report according to the same age match cohorts in your population which, are, which would be considered healthy. So in comparison with that, how good or bad you are, uh, you get a, a particular number. So if you are minus 2.5 standard deviations below the mean, you would be considered as having osteoporosis. Now, what is the treatment? It's a simple treatment. If treated uh, well enough, or if caught uh, well in advance, you can treat it without any other problems arising out of it. The simple treatment being starting the patient on medications, which would be uh, initially an oral medication, like which are called bisphosphonates. Uh, these are uh, the medicines which increase the bone turnover in your bone and help in making new bone. So the resorption of the bone is uh, slowed down and formation of new bone is uh, generally speed up, sped up so that helps in strengthening your bone. Similar medicines uh, are there in the form of a nasal spray which is called calcitonin That's, that can help in uh, alleviating bone pains out of osteoporosis as well. So in patients who have osteoporosis with a lot of bone pains we prefer them to reuse calcitonin nasal spray for them. Uh, in very severe cases which are resistant to other medications or if the patient does not tolerate the initial oral medications. Two different types of medicines available for that uh, which are in the inject injectable format. One is known as teriparatide which is a recombinant uh, PTH hormone uh, and the other one is denosumab which has been a recent addition to the inventory of medicines available to treat osteoporosis. Both of them are usually given by a, a small injection which is like an insulin pen and you just patient just has to inject under the skin by uh, their own. Uh, the teriparatide injection usually needs to be given once every day and for at least six months to begin with. Uh, in the whole lifetime of a patient it can be given for up to two years. Uh, the other injection, the denosumab, can be given once for six months so that is much uh, easier for the patient to use and uh, the compliance of the patient for the therapy also in improves. So these are the usual medications and uh, treatment available for that. Now a common question would be that anyone can have it. What are, what are the ways and means by which we can prevent the occurrence of this because this is just such a pro common problem happening. So all you can do is when uh, females in their postmenopausal age 
as in as in when they attain attain their menopause they should get a routine checkup done at the hospital in as part of your normal routine uh, health checkup those tests are usually enough if at all something else is needed your physician would advise you to undergo a dexa scan which would definitely tell you for sure how good or bad the strength of your bones is then in accordance with that you start medications uh in uh, and obviously um, if you can avoid smoking if you can avoid alcohol that goes a long way in uh, preventing this disease because these uh, these vices definitely uh, decrease your bone strength then along with that patients who have been on steroids for a long time like patients who are on rheumatoid arthritis or the ones who are asthmatic who have been taking steroids oral nasal steroids they are more prone to developing this so those patients should also keep a watch that if they are having symptoms they should consult a doctor and uh, get it diagnosed and start off with the treatment the other important thing which you can do to prevent is do some weight bearing exercises so weight bearing exercises would mean uh, if you are able to you obviously you would go for a jog if not at least for a walk so 30 to 45 minutes of walk every day would go a long way in uh, helping to prevent this disease so these are the mini tips for that thank you for listening